First at 10, fixing Kern's failing water wells, the Lamont Public Utility District received a $26 million grant from the state to replace three wells that don't work. Eyewitness News reporter Mary Peronian joins us live in studio to explain the next steps. And Mary, how will it improve running water? Leslie, yes, that's right. This is the largest grant that the city of Lamont has received, and their goal is to provide people with clean drinking water once it's newly replaced. And when it's all said and done, the district said their infrastructure will be set for the next century. About a year and a half ago, the Lamont Public Utility District reached out to the state water board, asking them for a grant to replace one of the wells that failed. On an emergency type basis, the board funded the district with about $5.6 million. Scott Taylor from the Lamont Public Utility District said it should be up and running in a few months. Since then, the district has continued to move forward to replace an additional three wells that are failing similarly, which is where the new grant comes in. Each of the wells will be installed in three different locations in Lamont. One will be placed on this very location on the southwest corner of the Georgia Road and San Diego Street. I can tell you that the, the funds in total, the 31 million between the emergency replacement and the three wells and the consolidation is uh, monumental and historical for Lamont Public Utility District in that nothing like that has ever occurred in the 80 year history of this district. The funding will also help consolidate a small 81 parcel community known as El Adobe. It's replacing three wells that on their last leg of life and bringing in 81 properties who no longer can provide their own water needs from their own mutual well. So that's what the 25.4 is. So what happens when a few of these wells stop working at the same time? Taylor said families in Lamont would be left without water. And luckily, the grant won't cause the district to raise their rates in the next few years since a majority of the residents there have a low median household income. You would turn it on and no water would come out. So it's a, it's, it's a huge deal to have clean, safe drinking water for the people here, here in Lamont. Taylor said all three wells will be finalized and running in the next three years. Live in studio, Mary Pronian, Eyewitness News.